Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miguel. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How do you play? Hi, uh, it's good. You and me in classroom. <laughs> Hey, no, no, este, ¿cómo se llama? Como que algunos vamos a ser compañeros nuevamente. Se me está yes. viendo en el grupo. <risa> sí, eh, el mismo grupo, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que sí, porque ahí estaba, creo que Adri, eh, Ani, ¿qué más? Y está, no me recuerdo, pero Yasmin también. Creo oh, que la mayoría. Sí. Creo que la mayoría que, que ya nos conocimos. <risa> <risa> yeah, it's good. Qué bueno, y qué vamos bueno. Vamos a tener nuevos compañeros y compañeras. Por ejemplo, niña María Luz. Ah, no me he fijado, ya voy a ver el grupo. Vamos a, a ver qué tal este curso. Hoy sí fue rápido. saber quién va a dar clase, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. ¿En serio? Hello, how are you guys? Hello. How are you, teacher? Very fine, good. Fine. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> me pidieron, me pidieron, ni modo, me tocó. You asked for me, here I am. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, so welcome everybody to the class. Welcome to this one. This your first class for pre-advanced module number two. Um, I was with you. Oh, you have problems with your computer, Marielos, with the microphone, maybe the headphones. I don't know, maybe try without the headphones. No? Not, oh, it turned, pero desactive su, it's a mute. El micrófono rojo que ve abajo, te le clic ahí, ahí, porque aquí me aparece con el micrófono apagado, entonces no. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, Milton, welcome to the class. Hey, sí, it's good. Look at you, <laughs> teacher. Thank hey. you, thank you, thank very, you. Very good. Is is a, a good look for us. Okay, it's good luck. Yeah, it's good luck. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, Marielos, no sé ver si intentamos cómo funciona esto, pero esperemos que le funcione el micrófono, please. A ver si se puede arreglar. Okay. But in general, welcome everybody to the class. Thank you for your punctuality because I know it's eight. 3 p.m. A03 p.m. and it's time to start the class already. So I'm guessing we're gonna have some of the same classmates we had in the last group, and we're also going to have new classmates because you know always the groups. So you join two groups to make one group, and this is pretty common in advanced groups because um people don't get too far. So we need to combine sometimes some groups and sometimes people take the uh, level test and they get pre-advanced, in this case, pre-advanced too. Okay, but um, we're gonna get to know each other because I want to know you guys and I want you to feel welcome in the class because we have new classmates. For example, we have Marielos, we have Miguel, and we have Gerardo, who are new to me and new to the class, because we, uh, Adriana, Milton, Miguel, Marcos, and Jose Manuel, were together in the last group. So welcome everybody, especially Gerardo Rivera, Miguel Lara, Luis Aguilar, welcome to the class. I'm happy Thank to you have you. Care. Yes, I'm happy to have you here. And I hope you feel welcome in this group because we 
we're fun, right guys? We have fun here in the group and we like to speak English and we like to practice English. Also, welcome Adriana, we were waiting for you. Hi, thank you teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good and evening. It's nice to see you again. Yes, it's nice to see you guys too again. Okay, we're gonna start with the class. Uh, but before we start with the class, I know that we have many, many other students here but maybe they couldn't make it today because I know they notified you and they sent you a, an email or a WhatsApp message yesterday about this course or when? Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday right? So it was like pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing some, started. yeah, it was, it was a quick start. I'm guessing some people couldn't make it to the class today, but I hope to have them in the class tomorrow. Oh, also, because classes are from Monday to Thursday, but only this week, because we are like, we are starting a Thursday. So we're gonna have classes tomorrow, Friday, but that's just gonna be this week, okay? Tomorrow? Tomorrow we, uh, tomorrow we have a, a we class. Have a class? Yeah, only this week, only this okay. week. Tomorrow Just because- I, I have a, a work. Oh, you have to work tomorrow? Yep. Um, okay, so- Yeah, I get out, I get out to night of p.m. <laughs> what is it? You get out, you get off at? I, I get out to the work night of to p.m. Nine, so 9 p.m., nine or 2 p.m. 9 p.m. Oh, okay. Get specific. That's very specific. Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing like the people who can be here in the class, please try to be here in the class tomorrow. This is just this week, guys. Okay. Lo voy a decir en español. Solo es esta semana la que vamos a hacer eso de jueves y viernes por la situación de que estamos iniciando un jueves. Just because of that. Because we're starting at Thursday, we're going to have classes tomorrow. But from the ne from next week and on, we're going to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Just those days. No Fridays. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. now I can clear, hear you, Marielos. Yes. yes. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, very good. Okay, welcome again um, for the ones that are new to the class. My name is Diana Sayas. I'm gonna be your teacher. I'm 27 years old. I have been teaching English for about five or six years now. I have experience in high schools. I have experience in online courses since the pandemic started because we were forced to go online. Mm -hmm. So I have been working since the pandemic on online courses. And I have a year of experience in the United States teaching Spanish to little kids. And then there I got the chance to improve my English skills because I got the chance to live with a, an American family. That's why I improve my pronunciation. I always feel that my pronunciation in the past was like, my pronunciation in the past was very like this. And now my pronunciation living there is a little bit different. But that's what you get with practice, a lot of practice, right? And I hope my goal in this class is that you guys speak a better English than the one I do, okay? So you speak better English and you come one day and you say, hey teacher, ¿se acuerda cómo pronunciar esa palabra? No, hombre, qué feo, teacher. Mire, se pronuncia así. That's my goal, okay? So you need to be better than I am, right? Okay, so that's for me, for the ones that are just connecting here in the, that, yes, just connecting here in the class. My name is Diana Sayas again, and I'm going to be your teacher for this module. Uh, welcome Ernesto Peñate, Oscar Ortiz, and Gabriela Garcia. We're just connecting to the class. We're very, very, very happy to have you here. Do you guys have any questions before we start? Nope, no questions? Okay, perfect. If you don't have any questions, uh, oh, I'm just gonna ask one question. Anyone here? comes from 
a diagnostic exam? Like, did you make a test to be here or you have been in online classes before? ¿Ya han estado en online classes o tomaron un test para estar acá? Nope. No. No what? I have been in, in the, the level before that, but um, I lost uh, the last month because okay. the, my um, enterprise. Yeah. Okay, okay, your enterprise. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the information, okay? Oh, okay. okay. To the English Corporation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Marielos. So you have been studying with English Corporativo for a while? Uh, yes, uh, for uh, three, three models. Models, okay. That. Okay. Yes. okay, okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Marielos. I'm just asking these guys because if there's anyone new here, maybe you will have problems with the platform to make the homeworks and things like that. But if you have been studying with Inglés Corporativo, then you are familiar with the platform, right? Okay, perfect. So let's go, let's start because we have some topics to practice. And also I have a surprise for, for you, like for the ones that were with me last module, do you remember that we were practicing tongue twisters to improve pronunciation? Yes? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So for the ones that are new, we here in this class, we practice tongue twisters. Do you know what is a tongue twister? No? Yes, tongue what twister. Is, what is a tongue twister, Marielos? It's, uh, there are many words to say that, that tongue. I, I don't know. Say <laughs> right, like yes. clavito, clavum, pa, pa, pablito, clavum, clavito. Yes. Yes, that, yes, that is a tongue twister. Okay, so here in this class, we do tongue twisters to improve our pronunciations because we know we have muscles in the mouth and we have the old vocal cords. They are the ones that help us to speak another language. So if we want to speak another language, it's like going to the gym. We need to practice. We need to do the workouts. So doing the tongue twisters, we do the workouts for pronunciation. So I have a surprise for you, but let's start the class right now. Okay. So we have the date for today. Remember that I'm gonna ask you to write the date in next classes, but in this case, I'm gonna read the date for you. It's Thursday, February 24th, 2022. You can say 2022. Remember the pronunciation before the number, after the number four is like that, 24th, 24th. I repeat the date, Thursday, February 24th, 2022 or 2022. The first topic that we're going to discuss in this class is describing problems. And then we have another topic that is about it keeps burning. Oh, pre-advanced one, le puse aquí, it's pre-advanced two, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so this is your first class and pre-advanced module. My name, as I told you before, is Diana Sayas, and I'm happy to be your teacher. Okay, now the real deal, the tongue twister. This is the tongue twister we're gonna be practicing. This is to improve our pronunciation and your classmates here, the ones that were with me in the last module, you already know this one. I hope you have been practicing because if you didn't practice, it shows. So for the ones that are new, I'm gonna read this. And this is guys, lo hacemos siempre. This is for pronunciation practice. Y como les digo siempre, no es pensarlo, es decirlo. So you have to say it, you have to say it. So you exercise the muscles in your mouth and your vocal cords. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go with pronunciation word by word, and then I'm gonna go with phrases. Okay, so let's start here. Peter, Piper, picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck 
of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? The most important thing in this moment, guys, is to say word by word. Try to say word by word and think about the pronunciation of that word. Then when you have practiced word by word, you can start adding the speed. You cannot run before you walk, right? So we have to go step by step. Then, when you have practiced a lot, when you have practiced a lot, then you're going to say something like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, of course, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. That's what you're going to do at the end. But that's when you practice, when you have practice. Don't try to say it like that in this moment. Try to say word by word. Because once you have learned the pronunciation of every single word, it's going to be easy for you to add the speed, okay? Okay, let's try it one more time. Remember, this is pronunciation practice. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. No me van a decir papers. Que ya, me, ya me di cuenta que le gusta decir papers. Peppers, peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, so try, take a screenshot of this because we're gonna go to the breakout rooms to practice. Take a screenshot, please. Just do a screenshot. Tell me when you're ready. Remember, every time I go to the breakout rooms, I hope to hear you practicing. Here in the class, I am speaking, speaking, and speaking. So when I go to a breakout room, I hope to hear you speaking. No quiero ir a esos breakout rooms y que estén callados. I don't want to go to those breakout rooms and you're like quiet with the microphone off, with the camera off, and not practicing. When you are in a breakout room, it's your time to practice. No, my time is your time. Okay. Did you take a screenshot, everybody? Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. So in this moment. Yes. In this moment, Gabriela, usted estuvo conmigo en el módulo pasado. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, es que me sonó la voz cuando la escuché, pero como no la veo. Okay. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. excellent. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms ah, and we're going to practice, okay? So we're going to practice word by word. And then when we have practiced word by word, then we're going to try to add a little bit of speed. But first, no corran si no saben gatear, please. Don't try to run. Okay, let's go. Gabriela, por fin la conozco. Oh my goodness. Very good. Welcome to the class, Gabriela. <laughs> okay, perfect. Excellent. Let's go. Please join the breakout rooms. Thank you. Oscar, Henry. I need you to go to the break of rooms, please. Henry. 
Henry, Oscar. Acepten las invitaciones, por favor. Ahí están ya. Oscar, no le escucho. Veo que activa su micrófono, pero no le escucho. Y Henry, no le escucho ni le veo. Sorry, what happened, Oscar? Es que mantenga activo el micrófono para que me pueda hablar, please. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you finished. Oh, you finished. Ah, ok, aquí está la cosa. Los tongue twisters se tienen que decir un montón de veces, así como cuando vamos al gimnasio a hacer sentadillas, right? Or do something like that. Tenemos que decirlo y practicarlo muchas veces para que nuestra pronunciation improves. Ok. Ok. okay.
Very good. Good job. Did it. Okay, go ahead again, Adriana. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is a pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Go ahead. Wait. Um, Jose Manuel, you. It's the tutor. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go Jose. Ahead. Okay, okay. Peter Piper. 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 Peter Piper. Piper. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle pepper, a peck of pickle pepper, Peter. A peck of pickle pepper. A peck of pickle peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick, a peck of pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle peppers? Peter Piper pick. Excellent, Miguel. Thank you. Marcos. My turn. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick? Excellent. Sorry. Yeah.
Hi, 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 hi. So you didn't want to come to the class. You were practicing very good. So guys, remember, when you go to the gym, okay, and you want to lose weight, they quieren perder peso. Recording in progress. They quieren perder peso. El entrenador le dice qué hacer. Y le dice, haga 100 sentadillas. O haga una repetición de 15, cuatro repeticiones de 15, digamos. Y usted hace una repetición de 15 y le dice, ya terminé. ¿Por qué no rebajo? Porque estoy gorda todavía. Ok. O le dicen, mire, haga estas repeticiones y va a rebajar. Y usted piensa que las hace y se imagina. Y el poder de la mente no le ayuda a rebajar. ¿Qué tiene que hacer usted? Hacerlo varias veces, varias veces, ser constante e ir aumentando el nivel de dificultad. Entonces, cuando yo les envíe a practicar, <ríe> no me vayan a decir, ya estuvo, es que ya una vez lo dijimos y va, ya, ya. So practice, 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 practice and practice. Because the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Ok, so we need to do it many, 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 many times to be really good at it. Okay, that was the pronunciation practice for today. We're gonna be practicing the same tongue twister tomorrow and some other days. Okay, now we're gonna go with this topic. <clears throat> we're gonna watch a video on people reporting or realizing about problems in the hotel. When you go to a restaurant, for example, or when you go to the hotels, you find that there are some problems that can be find that they can be found there. So we're gonna listen and we're gonna watch that video. Please pay attention to it. And then I'm gonna ask a few people here, what did you understand about the video in your own words? Okay? Okay. Perfect. Let's go and see. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room 12 really needs work. Room 12, yeah. We're expecting guests soon, so take care of them, okay? Yes, room 12. Thanks. Hi. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh, watch that floorboard. It's loose. Be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Adjust the temperature with this dial. Bathroom's right in there. My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. He just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. It's stuck. I'm gonna turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Okay, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. We'll see. That window needs fixing, too. It's stuck, and it's letting the cold air in. You're welcome. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up, and now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. There's no water in here. Ugh, and I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. Okay, so about that video, what did you understand about the video? So explain it in your own words. Let's see the first person. It's going to be Miguel Ara. Hey, uh, in the video, a normal noise work mm -hmm. or fix or the thing repair for thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you understood about the video. Um, the whole same, but yeah, that's okay. So what? So basically, Norman didn't do his job, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Let's see now. Let's go with Gabriela. Gabriela, what do you understand about the video? Um, I understand that the hotel is wrong because uh, uh, the the things not 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 good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela. Thank you very much. Adriana, can you help me? What did you understand about the video? Okay, teacher. Um, I uh, could see that a couple uh, have reserved uh, a special room, but uh, all of it was in bad, very bad conditions. So the couple at the end uh, got out very angry because it's like uh, they spend the, the money waste the money yeah waste the money thank you adriana yes good job thank you very much and the last person will be marielos what did you understand okay i understood that the the place was was born because there there is water okay the light was uh, damaged uh, the window and 
everything need to be fixed in the in the room. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. So guys, right now, without realizing it, you have mentioned the structure, the grammatical structure we're going to be practicing today. So basically, um, yes, it was a bad hotel, bad services, all the things were broken, like everything was bad, right? Everything, even the, I don't know, the 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 bed, the window, the water, the, the everything, everything was bad, really bad. But the structure that they were using was like, is damaged, is um, broken, right? So in this moment, we're going to see how sometimes we use press, I mean, participle, the past participle, like adjectives. Do you remember what is the past participle? Nope. Uh, the <coughs> jeep, they never did maintenance to the hotel room. Is a uh, argument? Mm, yeah, but ¿Qué es el pasado participio? What is the past participle? ¿Se acuerdan o no lo han visto? You have not seen that topic? No? Use the verb to be plus the main verb in, in the past participle. Yes, yes, something like that. Okay, so the past participle basically, guys, is we have three structures, main structures of the verb in English. The present, the past and the past participle, the example. For example, let's see, break, break. The past of the verb break is broke, right? That's broke. And the past participle is broken, broken. So in this case, broken, it's the one that we're gonna use as an adjective. So, well, I can say the window is broken. I'm describing the situation in the window, right? And I'm using the past participle to do it. And like Mariello said, I'm using the verb to be to help me with that. Let's go here. Let me show you my screen so you can see, 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 see. Here. Okay, so here we have this. Describing problems. So help me, I want you, Gerardo, please help me reading this. Some participle like boy or boy can be used as adjectives. These are used in a sim slightly, slightly. slightly slightly different way from normal adjective. We usually use the past participle and in, in ED to talk about how someone feels. Thank you, help me read it. Thank you, Gerardo. Now reading the example, can you help me read the example, Ernesto Peñate? Yes, sure. I was really bored during the flight. Thank you very much. So in this case, I'm describing how I felt during the flight. I was really bored. And if you can see, this is the past participle of the verb bored, right? I was really bored during the flight. So the structure, basically the structure we're gonna use is the thing that I need to describe then the verb to be, and then the verb in the past participle, you see? Or I can say like this, you see, I was bored. Again, so if you can see in this part right here, I'm using, wait, wait, wait. 
I'm using a subject. I'm using the verb be. I'm sorry. And I'm using the past participle. But in this case, I'm using the past participle as a verb. What is the past participle here? Is it a verb or is it an adjective? An adjective. It's an adjective, right? Adjective that I'm using to describe something. So in that video that we just watched, the person describing the situations or they describing the stem describing the situations, they are using a lot of verb B and past participle. So now with that in mind, anybody, do you have questions about that? No, no, it's clear. I, I think, I think, I hope. Okay, with that in mind, let's listen to some problems here. We're going to watch it together and we're going to go step by step, like pause. Okay. Hello. Can you, can you, I don't know if you, okay. Yeah. Hello. Anybody there? Wait. You're in room 12 floorboard. It's loose. Be careful. Okay. There he said, the board is loose. Did you hear that? It's loose. Be careful. It's loose. So the first, that's the, that's the first one. Here's the temperature for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Bathroom's right in there if you need anything. He was strange. Stout. Hey, look. It's stuck. You see, it's stuck, right? It's stuck. Turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll it's broken. Call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Needs to be fixed. Here, there he used the verb to be, to be fixed, and also used that um, past participle. Okay, thanks. Change. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Now, he's gonna mention a lot of things, a lot of things with the past participle. Listen to it. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The paint is cracked. Peeling. The nightstand is scratched. It's scratched. The curtains are torn. Torn. And the rug is worn and dirty worn and dirty pretty actually this place is a dump so now with the example that i gave you and the explanation could you hear what they were using the verb to be in the past participle to describe things could you hear it yes yes okay now i'm gonna send you the link to the video and you are going to make a list of the problems. So I wanna send you the link right now. Here it is. You can play the video. I'm guessing that Marcos is in a computer. Jose Manuel is also in a computer. Who else is on a computer? Or are you using your phones? Inside computer. the compu. Okay, Marcos in a computer. I am in the computer. Luis Aguilar and Gerardo, Gerardo, you do, you do. Okay, so the people on computers, you're going to share, ya han compartido pantalla para compartir videos, yeah? Okay, so you're going to share the videos. Te van a dar compartir pantalla, luego le van a dar la opción compartir sonido, and you're going to share the video. Now, listen to the video very carefully, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to need you to write sentences 
Necesito que escriban sentences using the verb to be in the past participle. For example, what is the first problem? Oh, the first problem is that the step is loose. Creo que dijo, ¿verdad? Like the step is loose. Then another problem. Oh, the another the other problem is the window is cracked. The window is cracked. So you're gonna make sentences about the problems using the things that are ruined and the verb to be and the past participle. Okay, is it clear the activity we're gonna do in this moment? Yes. Vamos a hacer oraciones usando los ejemplos que hemos visto viendo el video. Okay, Sorry, so miss, I have a problem with the internet connection. You have a problem. Oh, okay. So Gerardo, you're on a computer, right? Um, yes. Miguel Lara, you're on a computer. Está de compu de la phone. Sí. Y puede compartir video con sonido. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna send you to break a room and you're gonna do it. And then the other person is Jose Manuel, right, Jose Manuel? Okay, perfect. Let's go. And let's make sentences. Sentences. The window is cracked. The step is loose.
This thing's broken. I'll call the next. Um, Say this is broken. What? This is broken. Pero, uh, 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 this is the uh, the control the control air condition. Yeah. Air condition. Uh, it's broken. It's broken. Okay. Call the front desk. Norman. Hey, that was mine. Okay, another sentence. We're in the class now, Mariela. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It seems like you were doing the sentences that you were practicing. Very good. Let's see. We're waiting for your classmates to come here. One, two, zero. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I went to the breakout rooms. And I hear you practicing and I hear you trying to do the sentences. So tomorrow you're going to give me the examples that you got. And we're going to share the examples here with the class. Okay, so for tomorrow, be ready to share the examples. Then um, that's going to be it for today. Remember, just this week we're going to do tomorrow. Solo por esta semana vamos a hacer Friday. And then the next week from Monday to Thursday. Okay, guys? Excuse me, Miss, for yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And let's try to start working on the platform, okay? Please try work, try to work on the platform, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.